Hello, this is Nathan and I'm here with Christian. We're both from Mooresville, North Carolina and we're here today to talk to you about the ash ponds created by Duke Energy's uh, steam um, plants and the one we're going to talk about today is the Marshall steam plant um, and we tried to get in there and we weren't allowed to uh, take any actual pictures of the ash ponds. We weren't even allowed near them. Um, we went to the main entrance of the plant and they wouldn't allow us. And here's a little video um, that uh, we took right after as we were leaving. You can go ahead and skip it if you want to go to the answers to the assigned questions. And by the way, I don't actually have a British accent, it's just I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who lately, and so I'm sort of stuck with it. So, here's Marshall Steam Station. Um, I can't tell whether it's too close to my face. Um, we've been trying to get pictures of the ash ponds here. Um, but they are not allowing, you're not allowed to take pictures of the ash ponds, I guess, so we couldn't do that. Um, they said Greenpeace about a week ago had a bunch of people come here and they all got arrested for trying to take pictures, so there's a, there's a station there. Um, yeah, and, uh, so we're playing it safe and not trying to push the envelope or whatever. There's... I can't really see very well. The gas, or the steam. And, uh, can't really, uh, go and try to see the ponds from the lake, because the lake's closed off everywhere. Uh, and yeah, so, defeat, but that's interesting. You got anything, Christian? <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to get some more shots of the, uh, of the plant from, or the area of the lake that's closed off. I think we're coming up on it soon. But, uh... They've apparently got some pretty big problems with people knowing what they're doing, which is kind of annoying. You know, in fact, they're closed off it means that they're bad enough you don't want anybody knowing about it. Yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna win your there's the there's where the the lake's closed off right there. The lake's uh all shut right there for the area where the power plant is. So that's all we got for video took a few pictures and of the plant from further away in their visitor parking and stuff, so but that's as good as we can do. See ya. Now some problems with uh, Lake Norman besides its poor water quality is the ceiling of in the lake. Now what that is is it makes it so that fish have a harder time reproducing and also causes genetic disorders to their young. And uh, so state data show that Duke Energy's ash ponds are linked to poor drinking water. Some other, some other data I found is that the Catawba River Foundation, Sierra, received word that the two ash ponds operated by Duke Power at the Riverbend Steam Station, which is located farther downstream from us, and, you know, so it still concerns us, um, are on the EPA's list of the 44 eye hazard potential units. This news is of particular concern because the two ash ponds the two ash ponds at the Riverbend Steam Station discharge into the Mountain Island Lake. Uh, Duke Energy has been working 
they try to improve these type of problems. Uh, one thing they're doing is the wa uh, wastewater treatment uh, faculty, specifically for Celina. Uh Duke Energy has also done a lot for the community. In fact, they created Lake Norman so that they could cool their reactors, and then they gave 65% of the land to residential and commercial use for the different counties around Lake Norman. Yeah. Now, Duke, what Duke Energy could be doing better is they could stop using the coal, but for using the coal, they're doing a really good job, so there's not much they could be doing better. I think that what they could be doing better is to um, be much less draconian in their public uh, relations, because it seems to me like whenever they've got something good to show, they'll show that, but they won't show us, they won't let us go to the ash ponds, they won't let us even step foot in anywhere near them, uh, as I said, and so it's really allowing people to see that there is a problem and not just completely shutting it out like it's not there is I think a step in the right direction um, and then along with that just kind of phasing out of steam because uh, coal power really is not um, not a very good uh, thing for the environment ever so so I think kind of slowly phasing that out and letting people know that there is a problem and that they are really doing something about it. Now, something to point out is that ash ponds, uh, the ash ponds that Duke Energy were considered highest, but only because if something were to happen in the ash ponds, it could be potentially dangerous. Not that they are causing lots of problems right now, so that is something to look at. Um, but besides that, you know, Duke Energy has been doing a pretty good job. Hopefully one day they'll stop using coal power and go more cleaner sources 